So if I said to you, okay, Michael, you're the god of theater schools, and we're going to, gone, they're gone. We are giving you and your team the resources to start afresh. What would you do? I wouldn't do it in university. Um, I would put all the energy and money and resources that go into propping up these um, programs into communities, whether it's outside these, these walls, whether it's in Atlantic Canada, and, and just allow people to figure it out for themselves locally. Uh, there is a professional theater, and it requires new workers that are trained to do this thing. Um, and some of that theater is beautiful and great. But I look at what our, our world needs. We don't need old systems of anything. So what would you be doing? You'd move the training or whatever you I call that experience? I wouldn't oh, tell oh. anybody anything. I'd say, what do you want to do? What does your community need? I don't think it needs X. Like, it, it has to be determined from the, literally the people that live in these places. I think it's insane to think that that there are not storytellers there, that, that there are not creative minds there that could go, do you, know what our, do you know what we really need around here for our kids to stop killing themselves? With drugs or X or this or or they're just dissatisfied, you know, and be like, I don't know what you want to do, but if you had more money or more resources or something or time, what would you make? What would you do? I have no prescriptions. I actually believe that people, when given opportunity, uh, uh, can be endlessly innovative. And I look at old systems, there's a lot of distrust. I'd let them go. Right now we're discussing whether or not we should have our, our first year, like our, our communal first year. And I said in the meeting, I was like, that's like the third rail of this department. Communal first year where every student touches, does a bit of everything else? Yeah, yeah. If I'm an art student, I better do a tech. If I'm a tech student, I did a bit of this, that kind yep. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, all our students tell us that this is, this is, this is why they chose York, but York is losing less and less students. Like, less and less people say that's the place they want to come. And I'm like, at what point do we just go, why does no one want to come here? And it's not because we valiantly held on to our first communal year. There's other reasons. Students are changing. They need different things. It's, it's important that we give them tools to analyze, to think about how to make changes that can benefit them, and question every aspect of what we're doing. 